Okay, um, uh, I have created a new project previously, and um, this step we're going to focus on um, working with the uh, PhoneGap backend database. And for maintainability, we're going to um, um, code separate JavaScript files over here for um, backend handling and also uh, controller or processing of the interface or we'll still keep index.js. And in order to create a SQLite database or working with web SQL, we are going to use uh, um, um, uh, W3 recommendations from uh, W3.org for web SQL over here, web SQL database for SQLite as a backend. And uh, you can go to this website to get the materials, however, I have prepared, uh, that's still many texts over here, so I have prepared a set of uh, slide with few classes that you need to know only for uh, creating or managing a database with uh, PhoneGap, okay? So we are going to use that slide. Again, this slide is just a short copies of the um, uh, uh, a web page that you see over there. So you're going to have a look at this one. So from Windows object, from Windows object, the Windows is the Java, uh, JavaScript object that available everywhere for um, JavaScript environment. You can just use the Windows object. And that Windows object, you can use um, the method, which is open database, open database in order to uh, um, create a new database or access to an existing database based on the names of the uh, database, the versions of the database, the display name of the database, the estimated size of the database. So uh, if you use more, um, more than the estimates, estimated size, uh, the size will be doubles every time. So optional, uh, the optional, when you access to um, open database, uh, we're going to use one Typical JavaScript uh, style of uh, working with uh, database is about uh, working with uh, functions is about um, um, combat. So when they or when we could open the database successfully, you may optionally this one is optionally um, 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 place a, a callback which is a function uh, which is called database callback. What is that database callback? That database callback is a function to handle the event. Okay, and it will pass in for you the database. Okay, the database. So we uh, first need to use this method in order to create the database. So inside our uh, project, I'm going to right click and I'm going to create new. Okay, new file. And this one I'm now called database handler. Okay, let me just name it uh, this way then. Okay, then uh, no, just. Sorry, just create that one with, sorry, just delete this. Okay, just new file, because this one is database handler.js. Okay, this one is for us to handle the uh, um, open and close uh, database. So I'm going to create a JavaScript object uh, which help us to uh, develop this one. So uh, what I'm going to create is that I'm going to create um, a variable that is called database handler equal to a JavaScript object and it has an object which is called uh, DB and currently it is null first. Then uh, I'm going to create a function which is to create database functions. Okay, and uh, this this one is a function, and in order to create the database, you are not gonna need to input anything, but you will need to in, uh, do something like um, uh, first we're gonna use this dot db equal to we're gonna use Windows object as the slide side. We wanna use Windows object; it's available everywhere. Then come to the uh, method which is called open the database with the name base and so on so forth there. So we'll Oh, complemented open database with the name is let's just make a, a database which is we're going to do products dot db then the uh, version is 1.1.0 1 .1 then the let me just break it down for you to see so database the name the uh, version then the display name is product database 
then the estimated size let's just make it like one megabyte okay and you can optionally put the you can optionally put the um, a call by method to handle the event which is that we um, could create the database successfully however uh, in this case uh, we will not input it we will not need it then after creating this database okay after being able to um, access or create this database we're going to do something like creating the table products inside the database so in this case i'm going to use the database object return okay i'm going to use the database object return here it's going to return you that one is going to return you a database okay then um, uh, we're going to create a transactions okay we'll create the transaction from the database object in order to run some SQL so the database object has a method which is called transactions okay this transaction you are going to uh, provide several of the callbacks so it's gonna uh, we're going to need to provide a transaction callback so the transaction is to execute some uh, um, SQL queries okay and so that uh, this one is gonna give you back draw transaction and you should use it to execute the query uh, transaction errors call back so when some errors happen to the transaction it's going to um, call this call back and uh, optional void uh, SQL void success call back so this one is uh, gonna be called when you successfully uh, uh, complete the transactions and um, we're going to provide so uh, uh, there is similar method which is called read transaction which is only for reading okay and this transactions it's, it's, it's this read transaction is the same as this transaction the only difference is for this transaction you can run um, um, insert update delete queries but for this kind of read transaction you could only execute select queries only okay and we're going to look at so what does this call back okay so we'll look at what does this call back the first call back is um, uh, the chain version I'm going to skip it Okay, uh, database callback over here. The first callback is SQL transaction callback. It is an interface, and that one is going to call a method, and it's going to give you the transaction itself. So the first one is I would like to execute some query to to create the database. I need a transaction, so I'm going to do this dot db dot uh, uh, transactions because it's going to change the database. So I'm going to need. A transaction first is a function which is the which is the how do I say transaction callback this one transaction callback that transaction callback you need it's going to give you the transaction itself here so you're gonna put here it's gonna give you the transaction so you're going to code you're going to be able to run some SQL here run SQL here using the transaction okay then the second callback the second callback is SQL transaction error. So if you have some error, it's going to call to this one, okay? And uh, this callback and that callback, it's gonna give you the error itself. So you're gonna have second callback is another function with the error, okay? Then this one you're going to use console.log. You're gonna look out the uh, transaction error. And you're going to place arrow dot message. You want to access to the message displayed it. Okay. Then the third transaction callback is the void callback will be called when your transaction completed successfully. So uh, function this one when it's complete successfully, it's an optional. It is optional. Uh, I I don't need to do anything with it. So you may input it. Why do I know it's optional? It's from here. Okay. I may input it or I may not input it so I'm not gonna um, um, input it okay let me just do it or fine so I'm going to do console.log okay uh, create DB transaction completed successfully okay. completed successfully so I'm gonna go this one back a little bit okay that one is about Another class that you should know. The first class is about Windows, okay, and calling to open database with this input. You get the database object. From the database object, you can call the transactions, okay. In order to call the transaction, you need to put three callback as three functions, 
um, full scroll back, it's going to give you the transaction itself to execute the SQL query. Second uh, call back, it's going to give the error to display the error if you do have the error. And the third one is the void call back. Okay. The third one is the void call back when uh, the transaction is completed successfully. Then, so if it gives you the transaction, you should use the transaction to create the database. So you need to know what method from the transaction can you call. So you can just have a look at the um, uh, transaction object in order to execute SQL statement over here. So you can just go next, you have SQL transaction, execute SQL. Okay, so you don't have, it's going to be able to execute. Okay, you won't be able to execute. So I'm just going to slash show this one. You'll be able to, um, be able to execute SQL. And in order to execute the SQL, you, could need, you are going to need to put the SQL statement itself as a string. Let's say uh, create the database, so on and so forth, create tables, so on and so forth. Uh, optionally, you may create an um, array of objects as the arguments for the statements. Okay, let's say when you select uh, everything from product where the ID equal question mark, then uh, that question mark is the argument. You can specify the arguments here. Okay, then you would have SQL uh, statement callback, which means when you complete it, the SQL statement is going to uh, call this callback and give you the result and the transaction. SQL statement error callback, that one is when the transaction has some error, it's going to give you back the transaction and the error itself. Okay, so so you can have a look at the uh, SQL statement callback and it'll give you the transaction and the result itself. Okay, uh, and the SQL statement error callback will give you the transaction and the error itself. Okay, so we're going to um, call that. So we are going to call that in here from the transaction. We can call to um, execute SQL method. And in order to execute SQL method, you're going to provide, you're going to provide the, um, let's just go back, you're going to provide the SQL statement itself. So this one is create table products. If not, is this? Okay, just, just make sure that you only create it if it doesn't exist. Um, 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 uh, create if not is this, sorry. Create table if not is this product. Okay. Then you, um, this one is very um, optional because, a, and also I have this confusing because of the um, Android development. So if by default, Web SQL is going to create this field for you by default ID, but then um, for SQLite and in Android, then you don't create this uh, uh, fields because the ID field is going to complain. So, so it's for, uh, Safety, even though it's a little bit redundancy, I will just create a product table with that field, even though it's automatically created. So this one is I'm gonna put integer primary key. Then we're going to create um, after that we'll have the let's say name text quantity integer. So I'm I'm creating a table. If it not exists, that table is table table product with ID, with name, and with quantity. Okay, so I would like to run that SQL query, then enter, where is that, okay, that one is SQL query, the next argument we need to put is this um, array of arguments, but then in this case, we don't have um, any arguments, there is no question mark over here to input, so you put an empty array, then you may have another callback, that one is the um, statement callback, it is a function, that you need to put the transaction itself and the result, okay? And you can use this result, you can see like uh, from this result, you can get our like number browse affected, the insert ID, the uh, result or the rows if you're running a select and so on and so forth. But in this case, we create a table so we don't have such thing. Just put it there. So uh, another callback is the transaction and the error. So I'm about to be out of time, so let me just put the arrows over here, okay? And this time we are going to uh, just console dot console dot log, okay? Arrow y creating the table, then we use error dot message, 
and we are ready okay and we are ready to handle the database